Ever pondered how our moon, that serene celestial body in the night sky, circles the Earth? It's a captivating thought, isn't it? This peaceful, glowing orb that lights our way in the darkest hours, silently making its journey around us, an eternal dance choreographed by the forces of the cosmos. As we gaze at the moon, it can be hard to grasp that it's moving at all. Its motion is so gradual, so constant. Yet over the course of a month, we watch it cycle from a thin crescent to a full luminous disk and back again, all thanks to its revolution around the Earth. Understanding the moon's revolution isn't just about satisfying our curiosity, though that is a noble pursuit in itself. It's about unlocking the secrets of our universe, about understanding the very forces that shape our existence. It's about time and tides and the ebb and flow of life itself. Think about it. The moon's revolution influences the Earth's tides, creating the rhythmic rise and fall of the sea that has guided sailors for centuries. It affects our planet's rotation, slowing it down ever so slightly, but enough to make a difference over eons. It even plays a role in eclipses, those awe-inspiring events that have captivated humanity since ancient times. So how does the moon accomplish all this? How does it move in its orbit, and what are the forces at play? Why does it always show us the same face? And how does it create the phases we observe from Earth? These are the mysteries we aim to unravel. Understanding the moon's revolution is like piecing together a cosmic puzzle, each piece a testament to the intricate beauty of the universe. It's a journey of discovery, a quest for knowledge that takes us beyond the confines of our world and into the vastness of space. Join us on this fascinating journey as we delve into the moon's revolution around the Earth. Before we delve into the nitty-gritty, let's establish the basics. The moon's journey around the Earth is an elegant dance that's been perfected over billions of years. This celestial ballet takes place along an elliptical or oval-shaped path, not a perfect circle as we might instinctively imagine. The Earth is not seated at the center of this ellipse, but at one of its two foci, a detail that Johannes Kepler would be proud we remembered. This elliptical journey of our moon around the Earth is what we refer to as a revolution. It's a fascinating, never-ending cycle that takes about 27.3 days to complete. This period is known as a sidereal month, and it's the time it takes the moon to return to the same position in the sky relative to the stars. However, if we consider the moon's position relative to the sun, the period extends to about 29.5 days, what we call a synodic month. This is the time from one new moon to the next, the cycle we're most familiar with since it governs the phases of the moon we observe from Earth. Intriguingly, as the moon revolves around Earth, it also rotates on its own axis, but it does so in a very particular way. This rotation is synchronous with its revolution, resulting in the same side of the moon always facing the Earth. This phenomenon is known as synchronous rotation, or tidal locking. It's thanks to this that we've come to know and love the face of our moon so well, while its far side remained a mystery for many years. It's not that the moon is shy or has anything to hide. It's just that the moon's rotation period and its orbital period are tidally locked, making the far side elusive to our earthbound eyes. With these fundamentals in place, we can now venture deeper into the moon's intriguing revolution. So buckle up and keep your eyes peeled as we journey further into this celestial ballet, exploring the nuances of the moon's revolution and its profound effects on our home planet. Now, let's focus on the moon's path as it journeys around our planet. The moon orbits the Earth in an elliptical or oval-shaped path, Interestingly, this path is not a perfect circle, nor is it centered on the Earth. Instead, the Moon orbits around an imaginary point called the barycenter, located within the Earth, about 1,700 kilometers below our surface. This is why, from our perspective on Earth, the Moon appears to wobble slightly in the sky. This orbit is also tilted by about 5 degrees, in relation to the plane of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. This tilt is the reason why we don't have a lunar and solar eclipse every month. If the Moon's orbit were perfectly aligned with the Earth's orbit, we would see an eclipse every time the Moon passes between the Earth and the Sun. 
and every time the Earth passes between the Moon and the Sun. The distance from the Earth to the Moon also varies throughout its orbit. At its closest, a point known as perigee, the Moon is approximately 363,000 kilometers away. At its farthest, a point known as apogee, the Moon is roughly 405,000 kilometers from Earth. Now let's talk about the phases of the Moon, which are a result of the Moon's position relative to the Sun and Earth. As the Moon travels around the Earth, different portions of its surface are illuminated by the Sun, creating the various phases we see from Earth. From new Moon to full Moon and back again, the Moon's appearance changes in a continuous cycle, a spectacle that has fascinated humanity since time immemorial. What's remarkable is that these variables, the tilt of the Moon's orbit, its distance from the Earth, and its position relative to the Sun and Earth, all combine to create the Moon's phases and its path across our sky. The Moon's path and its phases are a testament to the intricate dance of celestial bodies. The Moon's revolution isn't just a celestial spectacle, it has tangible effects on our planet. As our nearest celestial neighbor, the Moon's gravitational pull significantly impacts Earth. One of the most noticeable effects is the creation of tides. As the Moon orbits Earth, its gravitational force pulls on our planet's water, causing it to bulge out in the direction of the Moon. This creates a high tide. As Earth spins on its axis, different areas pass through these bulges, experiencing high and low tides. But tides aren't the Moon's only impact. Its revolution also contributes to the occurrence of solar and lunar eclipses. A solar eclipse happens when the Moon in its orbit around Earth passes between the Sun and Earth, casting a shadow on our planet. On the other hand, a lunar eclipse occurs when Earth, in its journey around the Sun, comes between the Sun and the Moon, causing the Moon to fall into Earth's shadow. The Moon's gravitational pull also has an effect on Earth's rotation and axial tilt. Earth's spin is gradually slowing down due to the friction caused by the tides. This effect, known as tidal breaking, is causing our days to lengthen by about one and a half milliseconds every century. Moreover, the Moon's presence helps stabilize Earth's axial tilt, which is vital for maintaining our planet's distinct seasons. But beyond these physical effects, the Moon's revolution has also shaped life on Earth in profound ways. Many species, including various birds, marine animals, and insects, have evolved to sync their behavioral patterns with the Moon's phases. Even human cultures have been deeply influenced by the Moon, with its cycles marking time in many calendars throughout history. In conclusion, the Moon's revolution does much more than just light up our night sky. It influences our planet's natural phenomena, shapes the behaviors of numerous species, and even impacts the rhythm of human life. The Moon's revolution, while often overlooked, plays a crucial role in our everyday lives. Now that we've journeyed through the Moon's revolution, it's time to summarize our exploration. In the grand cosmic ballet, the Moon waltzes around the Earth in a beautiful dance of gravity and momentum. This celestial choreography, known as the Lunar Revolution, is a captivating spectacle that unfolds over a period of approximately 27 days, 3 hours, and 43 minutes. And throughout this period, our Moon remains Earth's faithful partner, locked in a synchronous rotation that allows us only a glimpse of its near side. We've learned that the path our Moon takes around us is not a perfect circle, but rather an ellipse. At its closest point, known as the perigee, the Moon is roughly 226,000 miles away. And at its farthest, the apogee, the Moon drifts to about 252,000 miles from Earth. This variation in distance is what gives rise to the fascinating phenomenon of supermoons and micromoons. The effects of the Moon's revolution are profound and far-reaching. The Moon's gravitational pull is the driving force behind our ocean tides, creating a rhythmic ebb and flow that has shaped life on Earth for billions of years. Its presence also stabilizes our planet's axial tilt, ensuring a relatively stable climate. But perhaps the most endearing aspect of the Moon's revolution is its role in inspiring wonder. From ancient myths and legends to modern scientific exploration, the Moon has always been a beacon of curiosity, driving us to understand our place in the cosmos. 
Its cycle of phases from new moon to full moon and back again serves as a cosmic clock, marking the passage of time in our skies. So let's not take our moon for granted. It's more than just a beautiful ornament in the night sky. It's a dynamic celestial body, performing a complex and beautiful dance with our planet. The next time you gaze up at the moon, remember the complex and beautiful dance it performs around our planet.